got another question on the redox titration topic so we're up to number nine now i'm classing this as an a star question very very different to your normal redox titration question so good luck with this one so as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first okay so we'll make a start so for the first part why is there no clear color change at the end point of the titration well look at the colors we're titrating a violet solution against a purple solution so it's going to be really difficult to tell the end point because the colors of the chemicals are so similar So moving on to the calculation, I've got one of my typical diagrams here to just sort of visualize what's gone on. So they've taken this known mass of vanadium, put it in acid, and it's generated this yellow VO3 minus ion, which they've put into a 50 cm cube volumetric flask. They've then reduced that to the violet VN plus solution, taken 10 centimeters cubed out, and carried out a titration using Cayman 4 that concentration and that volume. So in a standard redox titration you would calculate the moles of k 4 in this case concentration times volume apply the mole ratio in the supplied equation and then work out the moles of the other chemical from that and then whatever you've been asked in the calculation. This one obviously different because we don't have the overall equation that's basically what we've got to try and establish uh, but we can calculate the moles of each chemical involved. So that's how we're going to proceed. So the first thing I've done, worked out the moles of the MnO4 minus ion in the KMnO4 concentration times the volume in decimeters cubed, 2.97 times 10 to the minus 4. So for the moles of vanadium now, it's mass over MR, so 2.48 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of vanadium have gone into here. So therefore, there's that many moles of VO3 minus ions, and therefore there's that many moles of VN plus ions. And then in the 10 centimeters cubed using the titration, that's obviously going to be a fifth because this is 50 cm cubed, and that's only 10. So that means the moles of VN plus used in the titration in this 10 cm cubed is 4.95 times 10 to the minus 4. So mole ratio wise, we've got 2.97 times 10 to the minus four to 4.95 times 10 to the minus four. So if we divide both by the smallest, that gives us a one to 1.67 mole ratio. So we'll get them into whole numbers, multiply by three. So we've got a, a three to five mole ratio of the MnO4 minus ion to Vn plus. So the trick now is to establish the electron ratio. Well, that's directly linked to the mole ratio. It's just the, the sort of flip of it. So we know that there's five electrons involved in the MnO4 minus half equation. So there must be three electrons involved in the Vn plus one. Because we know that the Vn plus is oxidized back up to V in the plus five oxidation state in VO3 minus, this must have been at 2 plus to start with. So moving on to the overall equation now, we've got the supplied reduction reaction for MnO4 minus to Mn2 plus. And we know in the oxidation reaction, we've gone, we're going from V2 plus to VO3 minus. So we'll just sort out this half equation and then we'll add the two half equations together, get the electrons to cancel, and that'll give us our overall equation which we might need to cancel down if we've got like terms on each side. Now, we already know there's three electrons involved in this half equation, but I'm just gonna balance it the way I normally do. So you can see we've got three oxygens on the right, we've got none on the left, so we'll put three H2Os on the left, and that gives us three Os each side. That's introduced six hydrogens, so six H pluses. And in terms of charge, we've got two plus on the left, and at the moment we've got five plus on the right. So if we put those three electrons in, that's gonna bring the charge on the right down to two plus to match that. So to get the electrons to disappear now, when we add the two equations together, we're gonna to need to multiply this one by three to get 15 electrons. This one by five, there's your three to five ratio. 
So we'll add them together and then just cancel down. So that's given us this wonderful looking equation here. So we can see we've got h plus on each side. So that cancels down to six on the right. And we've also got water left and right. So that cancels down to three H2Os on the left. And I couldn't leave it with those silly gaps in, so there it is there.